Nope. Okay. Failure who? Uh, Wallace? Nope. Not UK? Not lately. Hey, we're live. Oh, crap. Hey, folks. It's me, and this is David, and uh, we're at the Dallas Pin Show. Yeah. So this is the uh, the outer lobby. Let me switch the camera around. It went live a little suddenly on me there. So, <laughs> so uh, here in the outer lobby, you will find uh, the silent pin sh or the silent pin auction. I have all kinds of cool stuff here if that's what you're into. Hey, Jesse, what's up? Yeah. Hey, folks. Uh, there's always a little bit of stuff over here in the corner, less than usual, but we do have some pretty cool looking pin cases over here. If you're into pin cases, check out some of those. And it's curved front Schaefer case, look at that. I mean, if I could get that home, it'd be a problem. Uh, this is a registration desk. Registration is very reasonable here at five bucks per family. Hello from Madison, great specs. Hey, thanks, thanks, thanks. Hey, Anna. All right. So here is the small ballroom. We'll start out in here. So, it's actually the first time recording this on my new phone. So we'll see how it goes. I think it'll go pretty well. I think the internet in here is pretty strong. We'll see how it goes. We have here, there we go, the right pin. They're doing restorations. They're doing some pin sales of vintage stuff. Uh, not too many restorers here or grinders. They were there this morning, had so much fun. Oh, good. Good, good. Hey, Evan, what's up? Uh, let's kind of go around the side, I guess. So here, right pin, revolutions, uh, restoration and sales. Then we have the Van S tables, all kinds of ink, some pens here in the middle, some paper in this tower here. There's another tower here with Galen leather stuff. Hey, Bill, what's up? There's an Anna Reinert here, slinging pens and paper and leather and such. And then we get to the, uh, oh, here we go. This is the Galen Leather portfolio. I've got one of these I need to do a review on pretty soon. I've been carrying around. Very convenient little gadget. Got anything else you need to, you want to model for us? Ten pen cases? Yeah. yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. We got tons, tons. So many things. I really like Audrey's five pen case. It's like five pins in a notebook. It's like half of this. Yeah, that one. Audrey has one of these just like that. It's great. I'm a huge fan. There's Kimberly. She's, are you even put on a Franklin Kristoff shirt? <laughs> she's going to be covering for me while I'm uh, doing this video, so she's back there. If you are watching this right now from the show, come uh, pester her. Um, mostly Franklin Kristoff, who I'm working with this weekend. Let's see, upstairs now resting. Good. Um, so, uh, oh, actually, my, my, this, this uh, new phone has an absurdly good battery, so I'm good. No stabbing Friday. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? No stab Friday? So far, so good. So here are the nib testers, of course. And then, really, we've brought mostly uh, prototypes. So what kind of pretty prototypes are there? I mean, you want to show off the one you're, you're getting, or did she already take it from you? Oh, she already got it. But uh, yeah, mostly prototypes here, actually, including some like really cool aluminum ones. They got an aluminum uh, finial and section on this 20. There's a brass O2 up there. There's some really cool little things. Um, a lot of them have been bought so far. Any uh, Proto 55 or 55s? There are two of them left. Uh, these two, we found them in a drawer. So like this one has a dark blue s bottom. Uh, this one actually, we keep thinking it's a different pen because it looks a lot like a 20 uh, if you're not paying too close of attention. And then this one is another of the 55s. So this is that new pen that came out like two weeks ago or something, maybe one week ago. And uh, so this is kind of a marbly red with uh, antique glass in the middle. Let's see what the section is. Section is that red too. Yep. There we go. There were a few protos of that this morning. They went real fast. These we found in a drawer. There are some of our pen rests here that we made in Franklin Christophe colors for them. So you can come and buy those here. We've got uh, Audrey and Mandy over here. They've been heads down uh, just doing pens all day long. Uh, also brought a couple of backpacks. So the brown and blue black backpacks are back here. Jesse Cole says hi. <laughs> There's a chorus of high Jessies. Uh, and also the new sling bag, which I didn't even see until uh, I got here today, actually. I didn't know it existed, but uh, same kind of canvas material as the other. has a leather bottom, uh, kind of a big compartment in the middle, and then uh, a couple little side bits. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that sometime soon. Um, and then let's go over here. So, here, this is Grandpa's Fountain Pens. 
you're looking for some vintage. Like, look at the sling bag. Yeah, the sling bag's like 115 bucks. Pretty reasonable price. Feels like it's pretty bomb proof. Here, they've been our neighbors all day. I'm going around this way. Can you review the new FC bag versus Rickshaw Soho? Yes, I can. Oh, you mean the sling? Yeah, I can do that. I have both of those. Um, I mean, they're very different bags, but yeah, sure. Yep, this is Tim. these are Tim's tables, you can tell. All kinds of uh, cameras and such, and also a Tim back here. But if you're looking for a lot of pens, this guy has drawers and drawers. Like, all of these are full of pens. Lots of them are labeled and such. So, like, Esther Brooks, Parker's, Assorted. I don't know this Assorted brand, but uh, he's got a bunch of those. <laughs> and then, I'm going to go around the outside still. Back that way. Thank you. <laughs> and over here we have Pendemonium. So, look through every tray of his. Man, I have not, but pretty cool. Um, yep. Yep, that's what we got here. There's the Frank. Helping out somebody. They always have a cool assortment of things at this table. And it just kind of keeps going for a while. Oh man, they got Rotring cores up in this piece. You know, I gotta look at these. Oh, uh, these are the ones that, I've already got these. Fortunately, I don't, I don't have to buy any more. But uh, yeah. Pet the monkey. Pet the monkey? All right. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're ballpoint seven. Yep. Also, check out that Schaefer lamp. How cool is that? I wonder if I can get that home. Let's see how it goes. Uh, then here we have uh, the Kennedys who are doing uh, nib adjustments and uh, grinds and it's a little bit of restoration probably here. I think they might be the only grinders of the show actually. In the lobby so much show up in the video. Oh, I'll come out. Oh, I'll come out there, Valerie. Don't put the monkey on camera. Eh, different kind of thing. Uh, here we have Mario's Toys from the Attic. Uh, and I've actually seen this room a little bit because I'm in here, but I actually haven't really seen the big room. So we'll have to, you'll be seeing it pretty much the same. Get her. <laughs> ah, she doesn't want to be on video. She doesn't have to. She does. I'm easy enough to find. Mario's table always has cool stuff on it. Mostly stuff that's hard to find. Like, who wants a set of Minarellis, right? I'm doing that. I'm going to show you my journals and that cool NFC pen rest. Oh, yeah, all right. You're in the lobby. Are you close in there? Or are you in the big lobby? Because we can totally get you on here. Uh, I, I was showing off your set of minerales, actually. Yes. <laughs> yep. Also, some uh, pretty dope looking watches. I am mostly safe from watches, but only mostly. He catches me sometimes with watches. This guy right here. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, you're right. You're doing great, man. Just a little live YouTube video. You want to tell us some stuff? Tell us about your stuff. Yes, yeah, Fountain Pen Revolution. We sort of specialize in lower cost, entry level pens. Or you just open a shop in Plano. Oh, right on. Yeah, come visit. Do you make stuff in the shop, or are you uh, selling? Uh, no, we do some assembly in the shop. So we have our stuff uh, manufactured. They send it to us, and we assemble. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Thanks Appreciate it. So they have some pens and leather here. Uh, a whole bunch of rollerballs. These guys are uh, specializing in rollerballs over here. It's like buy two, get one free rollerballs, which is fun. Of all kinds. All right, now let's wade into the big, the big room. Oh, no worries. So to get into the big room, you kind of come through this little door. Sometimes there are vendors in here. Looks like there's uh, some vendors here. Parts, it looks like, dual folds. Uh, Acme has a table this year. Looking for some very nice blingy pens. Yeah. So next to him, DG Daily Goods. Oh, you're in the lobby behind the bar. Oh, you're far away, Valerie. You gotta come closer. Gotta come closer. These are leather journals and stuff. Hiding back there? Do a little live YouTube. You wanna come and uh, talk about your stuff? Awesome. How's it going? Hey. Got the 11 Pro, fancy. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Just got uh, it. First video on this thing. Nice. Right, so, tell us what you're doing, John. Yeah, uh, Joe. Yeah, bison. Oh, Joe, sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, bison leather journals. Oh, great. Everything's handmade. Everything's refillable. Yeah. And uh, all bison leather smells really good. You can't. It get, smells can't, actually really good here. Can't get that on the video. It's probably because it's uh, this whole like a whole bison or something, a half a bison. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some very nice journals. I was actually just checking one of these out in the room in there. Somebody brought it in to, for me to see. Got uh, 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 valet trays. Hey, Laura, welcome. Got some Texas coasters. Got to have those. <laughs> oh yeah, painted wood carved Dallas or woodcut Dallas skyline. Very cool. 3D even. That's neat. So smaller journals, larger journals. They're here in the hallway. Really hard to miss. You can smell your way in here. Thank See you, Joe. Thank you. All right. So here's where the big ballroom actually starts. Hey, Neff. So this room is always a little bit of a mess. It feels like. So if you're looking for a vendor, there is this map on the wall, and you can find us this way a bit. Go and give it to Houston friend for funsies. There you go. There you go. Um, so. Uh, let's go this way first. We're gonna take a right in here. It's gonna go around the wall. <laughs> go this direction. Oh, they have their own bathrooms in here? I didn't even know about those. <laughs> you find all kinds of things in this area, including, I mean, this is, this is Jimmy Dolph's area, so he's got all kinds of cool stuff. Hey, hey Jimmy, how you doing, man? I'm waking up. <laughs> That's good. It's about that time. Hey, you got any of those uh, new vanishing points, those turquoise ones? They sold out. Oh, they sold out? Oh, man. Look at that. They only made 100 of it. Sold out in no time. That's cool. This guy's grinning like, I've got that pen and Jimmy can't have it. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Jimmy's trying to get some, make some deals here. You got your in two weeks. Uh, ask Jimmy the name of his website. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we have Jim Hines. Well, no Jim, actually, at the moment. No Jim. He ran off. He knew I was coming. <laughs> you can find stuff here. They've got pen wraps. They've got handmade pens. They do nibs and such. We've got Jim over on this side. Uh, more ball pointy th type things. It's like a lot of kit pins style things, but very flashy looking. Nice lighting situation here. I have watches, miscellaneous pins over in this corner. This is a great corner to be in. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, here are dip pins and inks. Yeah. Get in here. Hi. Just doing a little YouTube. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Dip pins, plumes, some sealing wax and seals. Over here, hey. Some real nice vintage stuff. People trying out some pens. Lots of Mont Blanc. Lots and lots of Mont Blanc. He's making deals. Uh, through here in the middle, more of the same kind of thing. All manner of vintage. Uh, can you tell me if I find any older Mont Blanc limited edition inks? Uh, I will. I haven't seen any yet, but this is the first time I've been in here. I'll let you know if I find any, Jesse. It's the only thing you bought is a truck. Hey, it's a Nathaniel. How's it going, man? It's going great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. It's a pen show. It's the first time I've been in here, so I decided I'd do it on camera, you know. Awesome. But, uh, you can't go wrong with the Dallas pen show. That's right. you got to check out uh, Nathaniel's table. He's got binders and binders of cool stuff. All priced, which is nice. Yep. Check him out at thepenmarket.com. You can find that stuff online as well as at the pen show. Good dude. Uh, Joe Lowe had a cool Waterman toy, toy truck. I believe you. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find on Joe's table. Here are all kinds of gold and silver pens. Hi, folks. How are you doing? I caught you yawning. <laughs> we have tactile turn over here in this corner. 
Let's check out some tactile turn. These are bolt action pins on this side. This is actually a new bolt he's got working. It's kind of more curvy than the old one. It's a smoother action. Very curvy. It's like a really good fidget pin. Into that. I'm going to have some of these. The best fidget pin? Yeah, all right, I'll take it. I'll agree. <laughs> huh? I don't know. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> and we got. Uh, that's why we. That's exactly. That's why. That's why you came to the show is to give me the pens. whole reason. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll have something from uh, Tactile Turn here for review. Like. Got gists and such. These are a newer generation of the gist. They look a little bit different than the older one that I have, which is original. They got some fire blue action up here. They did a bolt action knife actually not very long ago. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure what's what is here, but not a whole lot. The colorful ones, yeah, those are fire blue. They they burn them, so they're all burned. There's a Ryan Crusack. You got some new glasses. I like them. I did get some new glasses. Those Thanks, are man. Super cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. You can find Ryan's awesome stuff here in the ballroom. He's gonna have to take a hard left at the uh, or hard right when you come in the door. I didn't even know you were here. I didn't I, know you were here. I haven't been in here yet. It's been a you know it's been busy. Yep. Uh, you know the the show ebbs and flows. That's the deal with the show. Like people come into our room and then it gets packed in there and they flow in here and then it gets packed in here and they flow back out. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a bigger room, so people spread out more. It's kind of in our room, it's very packed. So yeah, yeah. You need to see my glasses. Uh, all right, that's my glasses. They're loud. Yeah, thanks. All right, enough of my face. Back to pens. <laughs> so here are some. Some scripture. They take off five years? Thanks. <laughs> Man, look at the detail on this mermaid. I'm not sure I've seen this mermaid one before. That's actually a portrait of my wife, Julia. Oh, is it? If you zoom in real close to the things, yeah. I made her sit on the couch for a long time while I sat there and sketched her out. Nice. <laughs> Are Julia and the kids here? No, I'm from uh. the solo district. Solo trip. Oh, dang. What's, uh, what are these? These are fossilized mammoth tooth. This is like 40,000 years old. What? And it's got a piece in the top. That's, uh, that's really awesome. Yeah, it came from the tundra in Siberia, from what I'm told. That's pretty crazy. It's been dyed and stabilized. Yeah. So, um, I just, I love this color. I mean, it's got little bits of blue, green. The guy that did the color works just did a great job. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. What's what's it like turning a mammoth tooth? Um, th the same as the stone. So I use diamond tools. I use yeah. a coring bit uh, to get the center drilled out to make way for the converter. Yeah. And the rest of it is, is I'll, I'll put it on the lathe and I'll by hand turn the lathe and use diamond grinders to sand it out. And then I'll turn the lathe on and use a marker on it and that'll show me my high spots. Uh, yeah, because it'll wobble eccentrically, so I know where the parts I need to take down, and you know, take it down, take it down, and take it down, and then it's a matter of uh, using diamond boards to finish grinding it out and polishing it. And it's a time-consuming process. Well, it comes out to be a really cool-looking pen. So, well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. really neat. And mammoth. <laughs> so this is mammoth tooth, the oldest pen at the show. Right. That's probably true. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Probably have some ancient bog oak that's probably around similar era. Wow. And then I've got a super secret project that we're gonna unveil at the Denver show. That's a collaborative project with Michael Saul, Detlef was involved, and Al Shinagel, and Ed Capizzi. And it is, I'll, I'll give you this little hint, it's mostly made from a solid block of Baltic amber. Wow. Jesse Cole says Denver is the best place to unveil it, so... Yes. <laughs> I agree. Right on. That's cool, man. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. And there's these guys. Those have some really cool inclusions in them. This is Buckeye Burl from California. Yeah. Those are really neat. 
That's a cool wood. It is. I love this wood. This wood is one of my favorites. This piece here is just nuts. It's got little bits of pink in it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, come check out Ryan Krusak's table here in the back wall of the ballroom. Can't miss him. He's this guy. One of these days I'll get a sign. <laughs> a sign? Eh, I mean, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Extra luggage. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> See you, man. <laughs> here you got. Uh, <laughs> you have luxury brands. Oh, dude, you got the Eleven Pro. Look at that. Yeah, man. Eleven Pro. That thing's sweet. Pro Max, son. You got to go big. So uh, what do you have that's new, man? What do you want to tell people about? Uh, so we do have, there's a new 3776 coming out. So be on the look out for that um, October 7th. It'll be released November 7th. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be cool. And then... Is it a new limited edition or is it a new model? Oh, is it the kind of like, the kind of like preppy -ish clear one? No. It has no. that nib? Yeah, so... These are new. These are the, called the Pre Fonte, and these uh, it'll have like two or two more colors in this. Yeah. These are what they're calling the adult preppy. They uh, come in like solid colors like this, and they come in fine and medium with a slip and seal cap and a metal clip. Yeah, should be really nice. So retail for ten dollars. The preppy normally goes for five. Yeah. So. Is it the same like nib section as the yeah. preppy? Yeah. Cool. Same so those are interchangeable. So, Really good rider still. Yeah. Um, so get that body and buy a fistful of preppy nibs to go in it. You know? There you go. Exactly. Exactly. So we have these. Here's the new Eden and Storm Banu in the Briolettes. Um, and then here are the two colors of the tattoo. So the tattoo is really awesome because it has like these old school tattoos. Yeah, I think I've seen the black one. I hadn't seen the green one yet. Yeah. So there's that, which is really cool. We have. This, uh, the two, two out of the three new Supreme Opals. Look at that. That's got some flash to it. Yeah, it does, right? And then this one. Oh, has, that's, that's super cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a different feeling for a Bennu pen. I know, yeah. It's like more subtle, right? Yeah. yeah I, I'd take that to work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like, um, they say, you know, it's kind of like, Flames on a fire at night. Yep. Yeah. I'll buy that. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And, um, pardon me. Oh, yeah. So then Colorverse by popular demand. Um, you know, people have wondered why there's always two bottles, right? So now they're coming out with season six. Yeah, I'll show you over here. Season six is called Having Joy in the Ordinary. And it'll have six colors. Um, It'll have, a, it's a new 30 milliliter bottle design, and there's these three colors, or these six colors, sorry. Cool, and, and just like a single bottle in a single box. Single bottle, right? yep. And it'll be 1350, 30 milliliters, so it'll be a small bottle. That's totally reasonable. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're really happy. We talked to them about that, and they came out with this, so we're really happy about that. Um, and it's a new bottle design, so it's a little bit easier to yeah, store. Yeah, it looks taller, too, too yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's just it's just like a really nice thing to, you know, take joy in the ordinary of like life in general, you know. Yeah. Not cool. everything has to be a supernova. Right. You know? That's right. Not everything. Yeah, so that's what we got, but our big thing is the pre fonte These things are going to be super popular. We yeah. think these people are going to love these. They feel really nice. Um, and that new Platinum 3776 coming out on November 7th, but we're releasing it on social media like October 7th. I'm going to show it to people in a month early. Yeah, October is 7th. It a, is it a new limited edition? It's not. Oh, it's, okay. It's a new, it's a new um, model specifically for the North American market. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So it was like a 10 years in the making kind of thing, and we finally got it. So, um, so yeah, just be on the lookout for that on October 7th. I'm not cool. going to tell you anymore. But, no, yeah. fair enough. Don't get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Bryce. Right, see you man. later, man. Yeah, we'll see you. All right. So that's luxury brands. Uh, let's go back over this way. Uh, let's see. Who did I miss in here? Uh, I missed Crazy Allen. All right. We'll go back this way a little bit. Is that an SM as a nib choice? I bet it won't, uh, Becky. I just bet it won't. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe they've been working with somebody and it will. I don't know, man. SM is oddly rare. 
This is Entran. Entran has cool stuff, including here are some road rings for you. If you like 600s and Esprits and all that kind of jazz, he's got it all here. He's got, uh, oh, he's got multi pens. That's a problem for me. <laughs> I love multi pens. <laughs> but Entran always has good stuff. Look for this guy right there. He's got all kinds of cool stuff here. Yeah. Private collection, everything to be sold this weekend. All right. So come over here. They're kind of in this middle aisle next to Crazy Allen, selling everything this weekend, cash only. On the barrel head, you take it away. This is Crazy Allen stuff over here. That's the back of a Crazy Allen. Oh, there's the front of Crazy Allen. How you doing? Good, man. Still a little bit of YouTube, you know? Oh, yeah. Doing my thing. We're selling pens here left and right, and we might even make a broad nib for this channel. It's the face of a guy who wants a broad nib. There we go. <laughs> over here. Uh, oh, this is, um, uh, if you want to know about Lammy stuff, talk to Lammy Bob here. He's got all the Lammies on his table here. Some cool journals. One of them's got an eye in it. Uh, there's some more of these cool journals. Fabric Castells and such. Four. Over here. Trouble. No, 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 no trouble. Just showing people what you got, man. Tell me what you got. Yep, that was Steven. He's on the phone. No, we have some journals. We have some vintage. We have some kind of vintage. Yeah, new old stock. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. New, like, kind of old stock. You have some Groots holding some pins in their heads. That's good stuff. Hey, Jay, how you doing, man? I didn't know you had a table this year. Here you go. There's some very large, fancy pens. In there. He's right next to Michael Saul. Michael Saul is over here writing stuff for people, selling cursive handwriting manuals. Good dude to know, Michael Saul. Uh, oh, this table over here that I didn't get to show that uh, uh, David here is standing in front of, that's Joe's table. Joe has all kinds of crazy stuff over there. I don't know if I'm going to make it over there or not. That's the way these shows go sometimes. We have a whole bunch of conids on a table, it appears. Letting people try out conids, see what they're getting into. Right on. I just got my first one, so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's a few here. Come on over here and say hi. You're not selling them, though, yeah? These are yours? Yeah, I let them. I mean, they do hammer them. That's, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> No problem. Doesn't make you like cringe a little bit? Not a bit. All right, see, you can just come over here and just hammer his pens. All right, thanks, Al. We'll see you, man. Yep, for sure. For sure. Nice Italian stationery here at the end. Let's go see Joe's right quick, and then I'll just pass through there so you can see what's going on. Oh, professional sharpening. All right, very right, cool. Mountain pens, jelly, shoe game, knife and name. All right, nice. Selling some pens, grinding some knives. See, I told Michael Drumgold he needed to bring knives to sell, and he was like, I don't know, all right, I'll see, I'll think about it. I think sharpening knives, the place to be. Uh, you know. <laughs> There's a David again. This is Joe's stuff. There's a Joe, he's down there at the end. You never know what you're going to find on this table here. Huh? It's always interesting, this selection. Constantly changing. Becky says everybody's jealous of you because of the pen that you bought earlier. What'd you get earlier? From Father Kyle. You it's, bought that one from Father Kyle? Yes. He oh, put it, it on Slack for about five minutes. Uh -huh. And in the instance I got the notification from Slack, it's just like, hey, I wanna, I'm interested. And I see that. I'm stuck at this table in the main ballroom. Nice. You know, I got a blue one just like that if you want to buy a blue one. It doesn't have the extra plus nib. No. It's got the extra normal nib. It's like super duper normal. Right. Nice. Good, man. Those are cool pens. All right. So everybody be jealous of David and his cool pen. Also, like this colorful thing. What's this uh, very colorful one you got here on the end? Yeah. Delta Blue Moon. It's one of the piston ones. Factory sub nib inked with... Vinta Sandugo, I think. Right really on. good. A little dry. I gotta get some of these Vinta inks. I haven't tried any of those yet. Right. I will. I can't now, but I will. He's sticking a pin in my pocket. That's what's. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> he said, bring it back. And I said, eh. There's some Mont Blancs if you're looking for those. There's some spilled ink. Not actually spilled ink. It's plastic. There go. Some PFMs and other sorts of uh, Schaefer's. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is Steven's table. There's a Steven. Hey, what's happening? Just doing a little live YouTube, man. The pen man from Miami. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> that guy runs the auctions and such at a couple of shows. He's a character. Oversize. Yep. He says that a lot. I'm going to show you the journals. All right, I'll check out these journals. Oh, those are yours, Valerie. Are you uh, still out in the lobby? Let's see those. Or we'll do a separate little video on those, maybe. How about we do that? Sometime this weekend. Uh, this is Tom Bailey. Tom Bailey has all kinds of things. Pelican and a few non-Pelicans. Uh, those are pretty normal inks. Here's Kara's Customs. They're kind of here in the middle. There's Amanda down there. They have Galaxies, Bolts, EDKs, Inks, Vertexes, Decagraphs, etc. You can actually come over here and try them out as well, which is a good idea. Pardon me. You find all kinds of cool stuff here, including like corkscrews and such. Uh huh. Money changing hands. Hey, how's it going? Got some Rotrings over here. All kinds of Parkers, some Schaefers, some Lammies, including some like limited edition Lammies, 2000s, ballpoints, pencils, etc. Now we've got a couple of knives in this case. Every once in a while you find some of those. Got some nice leaks in here from Kershaw. I just started carrying one of those. I really like it. Uh, over here are the Hamiltons. Rotring's blah. Well, you know, they're for not for everybody, I guess. Uh, here's Papier Plume. I haven't seen Patrick, but he might be around here somewhere. Yep, there's a Joel. Actually, uh, I don't know if Joel was at his table or not. Oh, yeah, there he was. There's Joel. He's looking under his table right there. Uh, here at Papier Plume. Get house-made inks. Is Patrick around, or are you doing this solo? Oh, all on your own. All right. What's your name, man? I'm Mike. James. James. Nice to meet you, man. Come find James. He's the one of the tallest men in the room. You can't miss him. Uh, good lighting here as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you'll find things actually at this table you're not finding anywhere else. So lots of French and other European, European, European sorts of pens that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, we also have... Uh we also have a limited edition pen that we're releasing in the next few weeks. Well, actually, uh, we're doing pre-orders oh, nice. right now. Uh, and it's got a uh, limited edition ink that goes with it as well. Oh, that's cool. That? It's a very nice material. So Looks like a... Um, uh, I can't remember it. Who makes it? I don't know. He had to take care of a customer. Looks like he's taking pre-orders for him now. So I guess we'll see. I'm not sure who makes this one. I'll ask him if he gets done. And he's, uh, he's selling some wax. They actually have some wax. Where is this going on? We're doing this in Dallas at the, uh, the Galleria uh, Doubletree. Yep. Um, yep. Heinz, huh? Yeah, I guess it could be. It doesn't look like the rest of Heinz pens, but it definitely could be. Real quick, who's making the, the special edition pen for you? So the, uh, the body is made by Heinz. Uh, it's a Heinz pen. The name is made by Stilo Sweet. Uh, it's an extra fine, super flexible. Um, and then, yeah, it comes with the uh, the blues. It's called the blues pen, and it comes with the blues uh, fountain pen ink. Right. Um, it's a very. It's going to be a very limited run of ink, um, and there's only going to be 40 pens made. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. There's a wild cat caught in the. Everybody check out the Leaky Nib podcast with Kat. Free swag if you find me. Free swag? Oh, yeah, you want one? I found you. What do we get? Uh, <laughs> a pin? Hell yeah. Did you find her? She found me. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Enjoy. It's a pin to go on my thing. For my podcast. This is not a LaCroix. <laughs> it's not LaCroix. <laughs> 
I do. Yeah, let me come back. Yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yes. This stuff is uh, I think it's up there. Yeah, Heinz is making the pen. I think it's up there with four thousand one Pelicani. Yeah. And that Oh it's, it's not that one. Oh but No, it's one it's one Oh no, it's one they're making. But no, Sukio is a very nice ink. Yeah yeah. That's alright. I still love it. Yeah, it's still good. Uh, Jesse, we got all kinds of Esterbrook here on this table. Yes, I, uh, yes, sir. I did that for Kinro Industries for their uh, SD line of pins. Oh, very nice. Is this your book? It is. Oh, yeah. No, it is the guy who wrote the book on dip pens. That's I am this the dude. guy. Yes. Brandon, right here. Yep. Jesse Coles is one of the uh, big Esterbrook uh, experts and sellers. She, knows, she says she knows you through Etsy. Hey, oh, I'm, yes. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. There you go. I will, I will pass a handshake to Jesse next time I see her. <laughs> no, no, no. She's on the she's on the chat for the YouTube here. So no, nope, couldn't make it to Dallas this year. I know. We'll get her out here one of these days. But she's got kids in school. It's a rough time to be leaving town right now. My wife is off uh, collecting the child as we speak, uh -huh. and uh, we'll be brought here. And I'm sure that her exuberance will explode all over this. Uh, That's good. All over the place. Good. Quite frankly. <laughs> So I already have his book. I know him for Etsy. <laughs> yes. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's uh, everything you could ever possibly want to know about nibs that you never thought to ask, never wanted to ask. It's all here. It's all here for the taking. And uh, how much uh, would it cost to take that book? Forty-five dollars. Come get yours right here. It's uh, right here inside the entrance on the other very side of this limited. table. And very limited. Yeah, we only got like 15 copies left. All right. And then that's it. You've read all of it? Well, somebody else will too. So come find this guy's book. Thanks, Brandon. Thank <laughs> Take care. Also, lots of loose Esterbrook nibs. This very cool cabinet with indecipherable symbols. Oh, uh, what? It's got a drawer in the back? It has a drawer in the back. Oh, it's man. It's totally stocked. Yeah, totally it is. Stocked. All those boxes are full. Nice. I've got more nibs than God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, let's see, here we have a lot of uh, fabric castell. Oh, sorry. Let's see, I'm going to take a turn. It got a little, it gets really, uh, it gets really crowded around this giant pillar that's in the middle of this room for some reason. Probably structural. <laughs> here we have Griffos. Oh, yeah, we saw Griffos before. These are those Italian pens. Yeah. My glasses are slipping down my nose. No, 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 I'm good. Oh, Jesse's horror? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And this one's made of fish scales. Look at that guy. Stingray. Oh, stingray. That's what it was. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the, here are the salmon ones. Yep. Right there. I said it and I looked at it and I'm like, those aren't scales. I'm going to let it slip. Nobody will correct me. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Next to them, I was Meacham. Dale's not here at the moment. He's around. Over here. All kinds of Schaefer. This is Bob. Bob always has great Schaefers. Including another one of those lamps that I was looking at earlier. Come find him here. So we'll back out this way. This is Broadwell Studios. Check these out. Right there. And also some really nice knife work here. Sure get his 25 bucks per shot. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're counting the quick. It's live on YouTube, man. Just make a little business for you. I saw. <laughs> More handmade pens. Lots and lots of hand makers here. This is Troy. Country made pens. Any cool new paper vendors? Um, I'm not really sure, actually. I haven't found any so much. Some Karand Osh here in the corner. We have relicspens.com, history handcrafted. There's nobody here, but uh, it says ask for assistance. I'm not going to touch anything. It looks like they're made out of various frigates and such historical things. What time does it open tomorrow? I think it opens at 10 tomorrow. I think it's the same as today. It's only open until 5, I believe, tomorrow evening. We are here until 8 p.m. tonight, so it's going to be a long day. Here's some ST DuPont. Some really gorgeous stuff here. ST DuPont makes probably the most satisfying. Has Valerie for paper? Yeah, that's right. 
That's right. You can yeah. Go find Valerie. Here we have Sujin, Natasha with inks. Natasha inks I've, found, I've used have been very nice. And here are some beautiful Arushi and such. Over here, Retro 51. Retro 51 is local to the Dallas area. They are just down the street in Richardson, I believe. Howdy. So we have all kinds of crazy stuff from Retro 51 here. Old, 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 you say? Yeah. What's this rocket ship right here? That's the old space tent. It is a rocket tent. See that? That's super cool. <laughs> no longer available. 20 bucks? Only. Yeah, all right. Cool. Feel it. All right, I got to feel this thing. Right, oh, it is heavy. That's pretty nice. I love this base. Yep. That's... Pull that off. It's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. That is super cool. I mean, he's got a few of those left, so... Uh, I may have to I may have to come back and grab one. What else do you have that's super cool over here, Dan? All the old these are all game things. Skymaster is pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, you still got the original box. So this is pre 2000. Let's see if we can get it out of here. We can take a look. I do need to buy the rocket pen. That's true. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Let's see if we can make this one look heavy. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's equipped. <laughs> you have a magnet in there? Nice. Yep. Well, I even stuck a tornado there. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. So it can lay here and you got to post it. So it's just it's kind of fun. Right. Good to see you. That's really cool. Nice so that's one of one. <laughs> One of one, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, yeah, here's the illustration of it right here. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. <laughs> yeah, let people know what that is. That's really cool. Let's throw this down. There's some more standard set stuff. And then here in this tray are one-offs, and one-offs are one of my favorite things about pin shows, man. And they've got one-offs from the factory here, Retro 51. See you later, Ina. Oh, no worries. There's some, uh, some one-off poppers, one-off tornadoes. Look at that color. Oh. <laughs> Snapper, even playing keychain holder. He said you can actually hang a tornado. So like one of these pins, you can hang from that. It's, it'll be uh, magnetic. So that's really cool. He was just trying to show weight. They could handle it. Now look at this guy. Real neat. The heavy metal kiss pin. You can get this hand to hold your pin if you want. And here we have the Yaffa guys. How's it going, man? We have a Ryan who's stepped away from his table. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here's evidence. Uh, call the boss. <laughs> What's new and cool, Niv? New cars is new and cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were showing me these in uh, San Francisco. I yes, think, right? yes, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. You were showing me these in uh, San Francisco. I yes, think, right? yes, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, so you saw it already. Yeah, so you saw it already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are pretty cool. It's a nice look too. So this is 1.0. Yeah. We have 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, and 1.4. We have 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, and 1.4. It works. It works exactly like a front Yeah. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and grab one of those. Yes. Yeah. Those are cool. What is this new? Yeah. Paniter pen fillers. Never break. Whole bunch of uh, Nair pen fillers. Never break. Whole bunch of uh, nigh indestructible paniders, indestructible paniders. A few stipulas up there, even allegedly. Got some there, even allegedly. Got some <laughs> new pins. Yep. Got the ink bottle. Nice. This one looks like an ink bottle. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. 
That's cool. It's a Monteverde here. Limited edition. Oh, yeah, that's a cool color set. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It comes with our flex. Flex nib. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I'm getting some skipping, huh? Well, hopefully I'll be back where there's better internet here soon. Oh, I'm right by these windows. You'd think the internet would be the best here. Yeah, the Sweet Life Inc. collection. Yeah, I've seen some of those. Those look pretty cool. I think... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely there. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And here we've got uh, Drum Goals. He's uh, showing off that Penider again, slamming it against stuff. You got your endless summer pin today. Very nice. So Drum Goals has like a corner here. They got those tables, they got these racks, and they got a few tables over here. Hi. Oh, no worries. Kind of squeezed in the middle is Laban. Hey. Uh, I talked to Michael Drum and said, you know, there's a lot of overlap in the, uh, the knife and pin uh, communities. So you got to bring some knives. And he's like, oh, yeah, really? All right, cool. Is that the uh, Crooked River? Yeah, yeah. My wife got me one of those for my birthday. She knows me. All kinds of bench maids. Got some really nice Microtex. I mean, if you're looking for just a really cool double action OTF. Yeah, John Gould's has a heck of a selection. I have to go back and shop some knives later on. They have inks here, we got some Sailor on the table, some Twisby on the table. And of course a wall of different inks here that I can't actually show because I'm out of room. There's David Oscarson showing off some of his gorgeous stuff. This is these things. You can feel it. Yeah. That's scary. That's not a scary knife. It's just a pocket knife. Oh, is this the uh, Dallas Pin Show? All right, well, I'm going to get a couple of these. One for me, one for Audrey. That's what's going on there. Got some of these Esther Brooks out here. Here we have Fountain Pin Day Carry. Neatening up the goods. Showing people what's up. What's up, world? <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. Just kind of hanging out, showing people what's going on here at the Dallas Pin Show. What do you got that's new and cool that people need to see? Oh, you these, have this, huh? These were the exclusive from China, and we finally got our hands on some from the distributor there, so we were able to bring some over to this side of the pond. Very cool. Um, and oh man, look at this! Look at this black oh, the, mamba, folks. The new this, mamba. Holy crap! Look at the that's, engraving. Yeah, that's super gorgeous. Uh, Jesse yells your name in the chat and says, "I have to give you a hug for her." Okay. Well, we'll, we'll hug off camera. Yeah, yeah. Keep things cool. <laughs> We have oh, the new in the Arctic series, which is the purple, like the Nebulosa purple. Really pretty. Very nice. Mm, a lot of good pens. The last International from Aurora. I was thinking that looked kind of old, that yeah. one. Oh, but it's old, is... but goody. It's like three months old. But... Really? What? It's the office favorite of the year. Wow. Yeah. That is a cool looking pen. It's got a very Boy. retro style to it. Yes. I mean, look at the engravings on that clip. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it is gorgeous. How many people you got in there right now? Uh, just 37 at the moment. It's kind of going up and down. Ryan, you didn't say hello. I did. I got caught before not being at my table. I caught, I caught him being elsewhere. Mm. The uh, Natuno and then this is the Mercury, the new one, from the Planet series. Yeah. And then, and then, check it out. The Warriors. The newest warrior. You got him? Yeah. The Viking. Nice. He's on sale at the Dallas Pen Show, even though it's a prototype. But it's on sale here today for you only eighteen thousand five hundred dollars for the figure. I'm not even kidding. Holy smokes! It is. Oh, that's a pen. Yeah. Show us so how this pen works. Is another very important. Pen right here. <laughs> what? All the engraving. Wow. I mean, it's just crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. The detail in these pens are phenomenal. Wow. It's a collector's piece. I mean, it really. Yeah. And then it locks in. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Send a greeting to Spain. Hey, what's up, Spain? Another action figure pen? Yeah, there is one. 
get three. I've been told I have to get three of them. So. All right. That's uh, what, 40 grand? Yeah, cool. We'll start packing them up. Oh, good, your deal? Good, good. <laughs> the newest Mia Carissima. This came out. Tell me about the Mia Carissima. I'm not familiar. This is from um, Monte Grappa. Uh -huh. They started out with the green acrylic. The next one is Ebonite. Old school. And when you open it, oh, there's no nib. Ah, yeah. So it's an eyedropper because you have to retract the nib, and then it comes with an eyedropper, and you fill it. It holds 3.2 mils of ink. Then you set the nib out, and you can write with it. Yeah. Is it a safety pin? Like, is the nib in the ink when you retract it? Or? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. If you, yeah, because if you leave the nib down and fill it, and then, and then turn it over, all the ink falls out. Yeah. Yeah. Safety pin style. That's cool. Really pretty. Yeah. Nice. These are getting released. Actually, these just got released. We only got three or four in, I think. Nice. So. And what else is crazy? The Queen. Oh, yeah. We've seen the Queen. Have you seen the Queen before? Heck yeah, right. the Queen. Frederick Mercury pen. Super duper cool. Yeah, if we wait for Mr. Nose to knock that samurai or the Viking right off the shelf, that'd be great. Yeah. Have yeah. to get rid of the cat. Here's some, uh, yeah. yeah. From Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. The Revolver. Always a yeah. hit. Always a hit. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it, man. Uh, See you around. Right. Anyone comes to the show? We have the button still, so uh, say hello. That's these. I already stole off the table. So. There you go. Yeah. Come get yourself a Dallas Pin Show button. See you, man. There's Della. Hey, Della. How's it going? Yeah. Just doing a walk around, showing people what's going on at the show. Go ahead, you guys. Come on by. He's over here at the wall. Big yellow banner. Hard to miss. Come find Detlef. Okay, I'm going to give you guys. It's a little little dark in here. Yeah, we 100-year anniversary pen from, um, from Aurora. Very important pen. Don't worry about it. Beautiful filigree work up here. These are the first two in the series of the... Um, of the oceans, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. There's a tiny little bit of ice blue in there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then come over here. I'll show you. Uh, this is the um, Bittner Mandarin, Mandarin Yellow. 25 pieces, Armando Simoni Club, especially exclusively made for Bittner. Nice. Um, it's a solid color. Oh, Chuck, yeah, I think is. you have to get one of these. I think this is Absolutely. a thing you have to have. And then the other highlight is this one right here. So the next batch of the um, um, Gladiatore in the Arco Brown is going to ship soon. We will receive our next batch in about a week from now. And then this is another highlight pen right here, the Chinkin. Yeah, the Chinkin is a gorgeous pen. Yes. It's a platinum there. That's the platinum, yes. Oh, Chuck already has one? Well, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, how cool. <laughs> and uh, pre-announcement, Platinum is creating the Bittner exclusive Izumu. There will be a Izumu in blue, black and blue uh, Yurushi lacquer, and there will be a total of 35 pieces. And uh, they are going to ship and arrive. The first batch of 18 pieces will arrive in about three weeks. Awesome. So look out for that online. That's very cool. And that's going to be the exclusive platinum pen for us. Awesome, man. All right. Great. Thanks, Dad. We'll see you around. See you guys. Ciao. I'll see you over here on this side that we skipped. Uh, I got to go back and do this. I got to go back and do this aisle. Can't skip this stuff. Here's the Coles of London table. All kinds of St. Dupont. They're doing. Uh, they're repping St. Dupont, distributing St. Dupont in the states. It's probably the first time they've had an St. Dupont uh, uh, distributor here. So we're going to see a lot more of this action here. Lighters, some very cool pens. Let's take a look at these nibs. They're really, really graceful nibs. I think. Some serious art pieces here. Airplanes, hot rods, oil derricks. We are in Texas, you have to have an oil derrick pen. That's why we did it. You want to see it more closely? 
Nice. <laughs> that is really neat. Really neat. Dragonflies, crystals, lightsabers. Ah, oh, no connection, huh? Well, I'll get out of here soon. Visconti's and this fired up one right here. How's it going, man? Doing excellent. How about yourself? Awesome, awesome. Shoot some, some good video there. I mean, I hope oh so. Oh my gosh, I like those glasses. Oh, you just noticed? He had a look of shock on his face. This man was shocked. <laughs> That's right. I have that effect. <laughs> All kinds of Homo sapiens here. Some of this stuff. Move around some folks here. Some very nice pin cases of various kinds. Drawers, sleeves, pin envelopes. All kinds of vintagey looking things. Schaefer's and Parker's mostly. A few other things mixed in. Just a bin of Skyliners. <laughs> you know you need a bin of Skyliners. Oh, he's not connected with Coles of London. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, Ines is uh, all kinds of cool stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's modeling their own pen for us. Very nice. <laughs> Look at that. Now that is a dip pen right there. Woo. Neat. All right. Um, well, folks. I think that's actually kind of vintage pin shop, i.e. Coles of Colorado. Very nice. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's pretty much the pin show here, folks. Uh, it's been a little under an hour, so but right about right. So, um, you know, come on out to the Dallas pin show. It's a very cool pin show. I can't figure out where to look. It's a new phone, and the camera's in a different place. Um, but uh, yeah, cool pin show. Lots to see here. It's not super crowded at the moment. Um, although it does have like an ebb and flow, as I was saying with some folks, so um, this is uh, this is a cool show, cool show, all kinds of things, vintage and modern, uh, ephemera, a knife sharpener, that's cool. I mean, people got knives in their pockets, uh, so yeah, neat. All right, folks, um, thanks for hanging out with me for this long. I hope the internet connection was pretty okay. Looked like a couple of times it might have gotten fuzzy for folks, but otherwise it seems okay. So that's good. Uh, I hope the quality was all right. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to have a good weekend. This show is only Friday and Saturday, so if you're planning on coming out on Sunday, don't do it. We won't be here. But we'll be here until 8 p.m. tonight, and then uh, tomorrow until about 5. So uh, make sure camera has good movement smoothing. Yeah, good. I've actually got, I got one of those Osmo things. It's a gimbal, but I haven't figured out how to use it yet. I only got it yesterday, and I haven't had a chance to play with it. So, there you go. All right, folks. Um, also, I think my arm movement is a little bit better than usual, but, you know, it's getting tired now. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to sign off. i got to go and work. doesn't look like they're too slammed, but it's got to be done. All right, see you later. Bye, everybody.